we are going back to San Francisco and going to Kingsar Stadium to watch another USL League 2 Southwest Division match between SF City versus Project 510. Now, we are in the midway part of the USL League 2 Southwest Division season, and so far for Project 510, after getting off to a perfect start to the season, winning their first three games, things have not gone so well for them losing back-to-back -back games coming into this one while for SF City you know the last time we watched them play in the USL League 2 Southwest Division was in the SF Derby where they got absolutely humble by their rival SF Lens losing 4 nothing. but the very next game that they played they did get a 2-2 draw against Davis Legacy though their season is still not off to a great start as they're sitting in sixth place in the USL League 2 Southwest Division and that Project 510 uh, after being in first place for the first couple of games they've now dropped to third place in the USL League 2 Southwest Division so yeah let's see how this game is going to turn out and certainly for Project 510 they're going to be the slight favorite but you know both of these teams haven't been really in the best of the four and certainly both of these teams are desperate in terms of getting a victory so yeah let's see who potentially can get the victory tonight Let's go soccer. All right, so we just arrived here at Kieser Stadium, and as you can see, both teams are doing their pregame warm-up. Over here, you have the Project 510 player doing their pregame warm-up, and on the other side are the SF City player doing their pregame warm-up. I had to actually go to the other side to just make sure which team is which, because it seems like both of these teams are just wearing their black training kit, and you know, two teams wearing their black training kit for the pregame warm-up it does get a little hard to tell which team is which but i was able to identify that these are the project 510 player and then the players on the other side are the sf city player doing their pregame game warm-up now it looks like both team is heading to the center circle and in just a bit we are getting ready for the start of this match between project 510 and sf city on this beautiful thursday night here at kizar stadium and the referee gets this match underway. Project 510 will be going all black tonight. Going from left to right. While SF City is going to be wearing their pride kit tonight. Going the blue and slightly white. Well, actually, they're actually going white with a slightly blue reddish kit. Going from right to left as we are underway here on this beautiful Thursday night here at Kizar Stadium. Clear the way from Project 510 and then the ambitious effort to go high there and well it'll take a lot to try to beat the goalkeeper from that distance but that one just missed a little bit high comes project 510 and now he could be through on goal this is a big opportunity for the opening goal as he reeled the keeper he's gonna pull this one back and that is going to be clear the way there from sf city as well that looked like it was destined for the opening goal of the game but somehow sf city is able to get out of that sticky situation. So we play almost half hour into this game and it is still scoreless between SF City and Project 510. And by the way, if you wonder why the SF City goalkeeper seems like he has a bandage into his head, well, about 17 minutes ago, he actually got high boot by one of the Project 510 player and that there was a very lengthy delay to make sure he is actually okay and that they had to go do a concussion protocol to make sure he's actually okay and had to kind of bandage him up a little bit so because of that long delay i expect there's going to be a long stoppage time probably the longest stoppage time we're going to see in the first half in the sports hop series but other than that i mean there really hasn't been much that has happened in this game though there was a big opportunity just a couple of minutes ago for project 510 with the fact that one of their player went through on goal and that they actually plays it back and look to see if one of his teammates can just tap it in but just some last ditch challenge by one of the sf city defender that you know in some way he absolutely had to get that right because you know if he didn't get that one right that would have been a penalty and potentially a red card but just such a heroic last ditch challenge to prevent project 510 of getting the opening goal off this game but as we enter the last 15 minutes let's see who potentially can get the opening goal off this game and let's see if things can pick up a little bit because like i said it's been a relatively boring first half might be the last attack here in the first half as they work this one here onto the left side sf city has player back but now he's going to try to cut this one back and it's saved by the keeper and it is in the back of the net and project 510 is leading one nothing right on the stroke of halftime well certainly the bench celebrates there but you gotta have to question the goalkeeper there from 
SF City, I mean, he did not do a good job in terms of pushing that one out. And even though that was a very tight angle, that Project 510 player was able to tap it into the back of the net. Well, now that is the halftime whistle. Well, after a brief stoppage time here in the first half, the referee blows for the halftime whistle, and at halftime, it's Project 510 with a 1-0 lead over SF City. And now it looks like both team is back on the pitch, and in just a bit, we are getting ready for the start of the second half between Project 510 and SF City. And the referee gets the second half underway. Well, after Project 510 was able to get a 1-0 lead right on the stroke of halftime. Let's see if they can potentially build up that lead. Or will SF City look to try to find an equalizer here in the second half? As we are underway here on this beautiful Thursday night here at Keyser Stadium in San Francisco. SF City looking to try to go the other way here on the left side. There's not really a lot of help in the box as he's done that defender trying to go all the way and is that going to be a penalty referee says no as it is going to be a goal kick coming up there was a huge shout for a penalty from the sf city supporters but nothing is given here comes a free kick for project 510 and this is the first time we've seen a free kick in a very dangerous position for either of these teams I think there's no doubt that he's going to go for goal here as this is going to be a four-man wall set up here for SF City. Here comes the free kick and wow, it's a disappointing one there as they go up through the upright there. Project 510 again and that is able to split by two defender. Here comes Project 510 as this is another opportunity for the second goal and it's a swing and a miss there but there's still another opportunity here as they play this one here on the left side and it is saved by the keeper and gonna go out for a throw in. Please clean up after yourself after this game. Thank you. That's an interesting PA announcement as here comes SF City and it's a weak effort right to the keeper. Could extend the winless run for SF City but they played this one here onto the left side and that is going to be a penalty. Well the referee points to the spot and it's going to be a yellow card coming up and I'll tell you what that was definitely a controversial call there because that ball looked like it was already going the other way when that tackle was played and the players are in disbelief they are trying to make the case here but there's a penalty coming up here for sf city and this is exactly what they needed to try to get themselves back into this game huge moment in this game here here comes the penalty and is in the back of the net and SF City has tied this game up at one apiece. Northsider celebrates there and certainly the player there who celebrates as the game is all tied up at one apiece with eight minutes left in this USL Southwest Division match. So looking to try to get the second goal here, trying to play this one in, and it is going to be cleared away from Project 510, though it's not all the way clear as here comes SF City again, and that is going to go way wide there for a goal kick. Looking to try to retake the lead after giving it up just a couple of minutes ago from the spot as the corner delivery, and it's in! back of the net and project 510 has retake the lead well certainly the bench celebrates there and a small section of the away fans on the other side are also celebrating and especially the player there near the byline are celebrating as project 510 has retake the lead in this game and maybe a little bit of a poetic justice is being made because like i said there was a bit of a controversial penalty that was made a couple of minutes ago but they have now got that second goal from the set piece and they lead it 2-1 in this game with four minutes to go they did score just a couple of minutes ago from the corner this one is going to be on the other end as the corner deliver in and that is saved by the keeper and now it's going to be popped up in the air it's punched away and 
This is going to be a foul there in the ball. Trying to get themselves back into the winning form. But now here comes SF City. The goalkeeper comes out. And it is going to be clear the way there from Project 5-1 always. Well, I think that defender, he knew he, he was going to clear that one away. But he kind of waited a little bit, almost until the last second, to clear that one away. And now here comes Project 5-1-0 as they go on the attack. No foul is given as... That one is going to be clear the way here. I dink this one into the box again. Still up into the air here. He's trying to turn that defender and it is going to be in the back of the net. And that is game set and match there as Project 510 is going to get all three points tonight as they got the third goal to kill this game off. And like I said, it is now 3 1 in favor of Project 510. It's still consider a frantic kind of game, especially how the last 10 minutes has gone here. But now, the referee is going to blow for the full-time whistle, and it's full-time here at Keyser Stadium. The final score of this game, Project 510, with a 3-1 win over SF City as Project 510 is back in the winning column Thank you for after a mini two-game losing streak. So it's just finished here at Keyser Stadium as I'm now making my way out of the stadium. And in the end, it's Project 5-1-0 with a 3-1 win over SF City. And despite the fact that for 80 minutes of this game, it was a very uneventful game. Man, that last 10 minutes was definitely frantic. I mean, not only three goals were scored in the last 10 minutes, but also we thought that SF City was going to get a late equalizer and somehow that Project 510 defender was able to clear it off the line. And then they went on the other end to score what would be the third goal and the killer goal to get all three points to basically get themselves back in the winning column after they lost back-to-back -back games in the last two games. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you guys leave a like, smash the subscribe button, and yeah, I, of course, will see you guys next time with another Sports Hub Series episode.